Welcome back to Wear Wigs With Me. Today I am wearing Paige by Henry Margu in the color 27AH. Let's get started. Paige is an above the shoulder, choppy bob with bangs, layers galore. It kind of has that air dried texture. And I gotta say, I am loving this kind of look lately. And I don't know if it's like the spring, we're edging closer to summer. And so it kind of just has that carefree, I didn't put much effort into my hair look. And that would be true. I didn't put much effort into my hair because <laughs> I popped a wig on. But I like this kind of carefree, choppy look. The cap on Paige is an open basic cap. There's no lace front, there's no monofilament anything. It's got great ear tabs, but they're open. They do have metal stays. You can get a good flush tight feeling. It has an extended nape. Again, it's open, has those great Velcro adjusters, and then just an open wefting all around. It's very comfortable. Henry Margu caps fit me very comfortably. And I have a 22 and a half inch circumference head. I don't have a wig grip on right now. I don't have glue, nothing. This just fits my head perfectly, just kind of snaps on, doesn't go anywhere. And this is a style that I'm not fussing with. Like I, you know, the most I do is just kind of grab into that permatease and give it a little volume, but I'm not messing with it and pulling on it and combing it throughout the day. So it's not gonna move. The measurements on page. The bang is listed at 3.5 inches. The sides are six and a half to seven and a half inches. The top says three and a half to seven and a half because it's layered. And so you're gonna get all kinds of choppiness in here that go down. The back is five to seven and a half inches. And overall it says it's about 11 inches. Let's talk about the fibers and permatees. This wig has permatees and it has kind of a uh, light coating all over. You can feel it in there. And then it, it has some up top. Now, certain ways that you style it, you may see the permatease pop out a little bit. But the hair fibers are so soft and silky, but they're not fuzzy. Every once in a while, if I style it a certain way, I'll get some hairs that wanna stick up up top, but that's, you know, I just kinda have to play with it a little bit and those will go down. That's not from being fuzzy or, or having true flyaways. If you, you can definitely style this wig to not see any permatease. I don't ever feel self-conscious about that or worry about that when I wear this wig. I think these hair fibers feel so natural and I think they look natural. They're just fine and you know, gosh, how do I explain it? I mean, it just, I feel like it looks like real hair and this is 100% synthetic, but it's all these layers and how they've done this just kind of shattered, air dried look. I think that just really adds to it too. And it kind of starts like, if you totally take all the volume out that I've created, and see it doesn't really tangle because of all these layers. I mean, I'm catching every once in a while, but I mean, I probably just did that when I put this wig on and played with it to make it voluminous. But if you flatten it all out, it can be a pretty low profile, low density wig. And then you can see that it kind of starts straight and then the texture and the layers and that shattered, I don't, know, I don't know what to call it, I'm sorry, but whatever this look is, <laughs> starts about like what my ear level and then this starts. So you can get a very sleek, more classic look or kind of how I like to wear it is really get in there with that permatease and get that volume puffed up. I 
That's what I like to do. The color I chose is 27AH. It's described as a dark strawberry blonde with dark blonde highlights. It's definitely a light red. When somebody sees you, immediately they're gonna think you're wearing, or that you have light red hair. But in certain lights, it can look light brown. It's a subtle light red. It's not in your face. Um, it's very much like Hollywood by Main Attraction, that uh, apricot, very much the same color. And I did, if you follow me on Instagram, I did side-by-side -side comparisons of, of these two colors. I think Hollywood is just a tad lighter, um, but they're, they're basically the same. So if you like Apricot in Hollywood or in Main Attraction, you'll like 27AH by Henry Margot. It is not that light orangey red that I love uh, from Aesthetica or from John Renault, but I like this. It, it's just a subtle but very pretty light red color. Okay, so I talked about the cap and the measurements and the color and the permatease and the hair fibers. My overall thought of Paige by Henry Margu is I think it is super cute. If I could only have one wig to wear every single day, this would not be my choice but I love having it in my wig wardrobe because it's cute and casual and it just gives me a different look. And that is what is so fun about wearing wigs. Um, I'm still getting used to myself in bangs and that's probably the biggest thing because I love everything else about the style. I love the choppy layers and, and just this air dry look. I, I just love that. Here's the thing about the basic cap. When I first started wearing wigs, that's what I bought. And then I moved my way up and, you know, I became a big fat snob about caps. I only wanted lace front and I only wanted some sort of monofilament feature, either a part or a full top. Now that I am more comfortable with wigs and in wearing wigs, I've calmed that down a little bit. And now I put, like I put this wig on and I'll be honest, when I first put it on, I was like, hmm, I don't know about this because when you first get it, you know, the bangs are thick. So here's the, here's the great thing about a basic cap. Since there is no monofilament and this is just permatease, you can do whatever you want with the top. So I can basically find the bangs. You can have a thick bang. This can be totally face framing, low density, You can do this and wear it like this, a thick bang and just a low density wig. Or you can, you can choose to have a thick bang and part it on one side, you know, like part it on this side or part it on the other side. And see, you just use your fingers and you can do whatever you want. So, you know, you can do this. What I like to do is I kind of just like a wispy bang because like I said, still getting used to myself with bangs. So to have a big heavy bang, I don't know. It just doesn't do anything for me. So I like a wispy bang. So I take as much away from that bang as, you know, I want. And then whichever way, I mean, I guess it doesn't even really matter. I don't really care which way I part it. I guess I usually just go to this side, go to my right side. And then I create the volume because I don't really care for it to have that straight and then the curl. I just want it all to look the same. So I get in there, I work that permatease, And then just make sure nothing's sticking up back here. And I wear it like this. I like it kind of all the same volume. And I, I haven't never put any product in this. While I'm wearing it, I might have to, you know, keep playing with it a little bit and bringing that volume back into it. I like to wear this wig when I don't want my hair in my face and I don't want to fuss with it. My husband and I just took the dogs to the uh, vet to get some shots. This is the wig that I wore because I'm messing with them. I don't want hair falling on my face. I don't want to have to keep pulling it away from my face. So this is the wig and I don't have to wear a wig grip or a, you know, it's just one of those no fuss wigs. And those are the times I wear it. You know, it's very similar to Jones. It's, it's more 
hair and just um, higher quality wig than Jones, in my opinion. The hair fibers feel better. It's a little bit longer layer, so you have a little bit more to work with as far as styling. Jones is great because Jones is what Jones is. Like, I like to make Jones super messy and kind of punk rocky, but that's all I'm going to do with Jones. And this is not, you know, it's not like I'm gonna curl this and make a bunch of different styles, but I think because of the longer layers, I can just get a little bit more out, more shape out of this one. Okay guys, so this has been Paige by Henry Margu in the color 27AH. Thank you Vogue Wigs for sending me this wig for my Mother's Day video that I did with my mom. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, do a little chit chat down in the comments and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.